dear students welcome to experimental techniques and material characterizations lecture number 27 i am dr professor ahmed uh, in this lecture again uh, we will continue our discussions on x-ray photoelectron spectroscopy this is part number 4 of the lecture series on x-ray photoelectron spectroscopy so here on uh, we will discuss the concept of outer electrons and outer electron uh, spectroscopy so let's proceed towards uh, today's uh, lecture so we will start a discussions from the x-ray and outer uh, electron so what actually happens uh, during the process uh, uh, during the xps spectroscopy so just like we mentioned in some of the previous lecture that the key concept of the uh, xps is uh, we we shine the x-ray photons on uh, the material surface so it is the reason of that uh, we get the, the electron that we call the photo electron uh, that's been emitted from the uh, i mean from the core shell of the atom and uh, that that contain informations uh, about the characteristic of that atom or we can say that uh, that has total informations about the binding energy of that particular atom so uh, when the core electrons uh, live a vacancy an electron of the high energy will move down to occupy the vacancy while raising the energy by uh, protons and outer electrons. So that, that is the, the process, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the, the, the key process occurs uh, when we shine the X-rays and when we put the X-rays uh, on the uh, material or uh, on the atomic layer during the XPS. Uh, spectroscopy so uh, you should have a clear look on that I mean these are the possible thing uh, that is uh, when the core electron leave a vacancy I mean that is uh, when we put the x-rays uh, on the materials so as a result of that when the core electron is removed and we have a vacancy so an electron of higher energy uh, will move down to occupy the vacancy while releasing the energy by a photons and outer electrons i mean first we create vacancy we eject the core electrons then that uh, vacancy that's been uh, created by the emissions of the core electrons i mean it's been filled by high energy uh, i mean uh, the, the electron from high energy level so when the electrons uh, from the high energy level come to uh, that vacancy so it will emit an extra energy so that energy can be emitted by two ways. I mean, that can be either emitted as a protons, or uh, that can energy can be, uh, I mean, can be emitted as uh, the outer electron. So each outer electron carries a characteristic uh, energy uh, that can be uh, measured. So there are two ways to produce uh, the outer uh, electron. Uh, so let's explain the process one by one. I mean, there are four, four steps and uh, which we can uh, totally describe the emissions of the outer electron so first uh, the x-ray source can irradiate and remove the core electrons from the core levels causing the electrons uh, to leave the atoms that is the first thing i mean it's on the next slide or in the coming slide uh, we will we will show you the process uh, i mean we will summarize the process with the help of uh, i mean a, a sample diagram so let me just first discuss the step uh, that's been involved, uh, I mean, uh, uh, in the production of the outer electron. So the first step is uh, the X-ray source can irradiate and remove the electrons from the core levels. Uh, that cause uh, the electron to leave the atom. So after that, uh, a higher levels electrons will occupy uh, the vacancy. That is, uh, this, uh, I mean, the next step. Uh, after that, the energy release is given to the third higher levels uh, electron. So this is the outer electrons. Uh, this uh, leaves uh, the atom. I mean, first we have the production of the vacancy. Then the electrons from higher levels it come down uh, to fill that uh, vacancy. But while coming down, it has to release its energy. So just like I mentioned on the previous slide, that energy is either uh, emitted as a proton or that is given to an electron, uh, to another higher level electrons. Uh, so after observing that energy, so that electron is also removed uh, from the atom or get free from the atom that we call uh, the outer uh, electron. 
In other ways, the axial electrons can irradiate and remove the core electrons by collisions. So once the core vacancy is created, the outer electron process occur the same way just like we mentioned. So these are the, these are the two uh, main procedure by which we can produce uh, the outer electron. I mean, we have uh, these uh, four step process and we can have this direct process. I mean, so in this direct process, we have the axials, uh, the axial electrons gun uh, that irradiate and remove the core electrons by collisions. And then the rest of the process, I mean, once the crude electron is removed and we have a vacancy, so the rest of the process is the same by which uh, we can produce uh, the outer electron. So here is the summary of the production of the outer electron. Uh, just like we mentioned, I mean, first we have, the, I mean, we, we have the electron gas. With that, uh, we create a vacancy, which you can see it here uh, uh, by freeing an electron from this place. And then in order to fill that vacancy, electron from higher energy, uh, I mean, it, it comes down. Uh, so by coming down, it has to emit uh, its energy either in the form of the protons or uh, it has to give its energy uh, to uh, another electron of higher level. So this, this electron, after observing the energy of this, uh, it can also be released uh, from the atom. So that, that, that we call uh, the outer uh, electron. So here are, uh, I mean, here you can see the one, two, and three are the order of step in which the electrons will move and the atom uh, when hit by uh, the electrons again. So this is the outer electron uh, process. So from outer electron process, we can have outer electron uh, spectroscopy. I mean, definitely the, the outer electrons. It also contains the information in base of that. Uh, we have outer electron spectroscopy that in short uh, called AES. Uh, so what happened in that? So here you can see uh, it's a very short process, very brief process. So here you can see we have atomic layers. So the topmost layers, uh, they are being irradiated with the electrons beam uh, from the electron gun. So here you can see that uh, this is the electron beam from the electron gun. So uh, it's irradiate the top most layer. Uh, so as a result of that, uh, just like we mentioned the process on the previous slide, uh, electrons uh, is being released from the top layers. So uh, I mean, uh, from electron we mean here is the outer electron. And these outer electrons, uh, they are being characterized for the characteristic of the, uh, the materials. So that's all we have for uh, the outer electron. Hope you got the concept of the outer electrons and its role in the XPS spectroscopy. So that's all we have for this lecture. Thanks for watching, but stay tuned for the next lecture. Uh, till then, bye bye.